Welcome back to Let's Play Thousand Arms! It's time for another date video. This time we're gonna do one here on Mount Hand, and we'll be dating Marion, which... honestly seems kinda weird for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it's like... I guess I just never expected to be able to date Marion for whatever reason. But apparently you can, so... let's go ahead and do that! Date statue is right here. And we will start off, as I have been recently, by giving a present. Since I reset after the last eight videos, I still have the toolkit, and I think that would be a great present for Marion, probably, so let's try that out. I have a present for you! How exciting! Here you go! It's a toolkit! This is cool! This will definitely improve my work! Oh, wow. Um... Apparently, you can actually get a kiss on the first gift you give to a girl, even if you have not done any dating yet and raised their intimacy. I guess it's just dependent on them liking the gift that much. That's interesting. Well, next up is it's time for her minigame. We've seen this one before. It's time for Super Rock Paper Scissors again, oh boy. I've gotten a little bit better at this game, but I still get thrown off now and then. Um. So there is a pattern to it, it generally seems to be clockwise, I think, for the most part. Um, it might be counterclockwise when you're dealing with having to look the opposite direction of the robot. Normally though, you just like, you try to win the first round with actual rock, paper, scissors, and then you try to look the same direction as the robot. If you lose the first round though, you gotta look in a different direction from it. Anyway. There's some rules to this that I seem to be noticing in editing the video before and in practicing this that make things a lot more complicated and make it a lot easier, make it quite possible to get thrown off and not realize what's happening. Especially if you get a rough start in the, to begin with. First of all, it seems that um, the robot has a habit of repeating its action if you lose a round instead of actually moving on with the pattern. but. I, it seems kind of inconsistent, like it doesn't always do that, it's kind of weird, I don't know. But, like, yeah, sometimes it seems, for instance, you know, if you chose paper and it chose scissors, it'll choose scissors again the next round, so... Instead of, you know, continuing to flow with the pattern. The other thing I noticed that really threw, was throwing me off, even in practice for a while, until I realized it was happening, is that, and, it, and this can make it hard to determine what the pattern is even at presently, it would seem that if you choose the same thing as the robot, you won't get into a draw with it, because it will never act like it's choosing the same thing, even if it would have in the pattern. For instance, um, if based on the way the pattern is flowing, it's going to choose rock next, and you choose either scissors or paper, of course it will stick with rock. That's what it was supposed to do in the pattern. But... If the pattern tells it to choose rock next, but you pick rock, it's instead going to pick paper to beat your rock. And then, from there, it's going to continue with the pattern as normal and move on to scissors. Which makes it really hard to figure out what's going on. Or it could even choose rock again um, if you've lost the round. It just, yeah. It's it's more con it's a little more convoluted than I was initially led to believe. Let's go! Here but we... since I know that now, maybe I can do a bit better. Let's see how things Rock. go. All right, I got a good start. Look this way. I didn't look the right way though. Here we paper. Ah, uh, she chose rock again because I lost look that round. Way. Uh, dang it. Well, she'll probably move on now and choose scissors now. Scissors. Yeah. Which way do Make I have to look at this point? Way. To the right. Probably gonna be down now. Here we paper. Ah, she moved on. So she doesn't. It, it is kind of inconsistent. It's really weird. Here we paper. At least I knew she was gonna choose paper that time. Look this way. I have to look to the right now. Here okay, we now she's probably gonna rock. move on, yeah. Look this way! Okay. Here You're gonna repeat rock? Scissors. No. 
I don't fully understand that. I fully- I don't fully understand the way the repeating thing works. Here we paper! It's- it, it basically just- way. It really gets you into trouble if you lose a round- lose I'm the round good, even once, because Here it has that mechanic of- paper. Oh. It has that mechanic of potentially repeating the same action way. if you lost the round before. But it doesn't You're always do bad. it, and it doesn't seem to have a- it doesn't seem to have we... logic that I can pinpoint. Scissors. I can't fully Look grasp that. when it's going to repeat an action and when it's not going to. And instead, I just got the same result as last fun. time. Well, yeah, I don't know. Like, I understand more things about how this works now, but it's kind of complex, and I don't... It's especially hard to... Deal you with gotta it. practice a lot. It's especially hard to deal with it while commentating, but it's hard enough in general. I can't win this game with 100% consistency, and it's especially hard to actually get it perfect. I might go ahead and throw in another take where I'm just not commentating, just so you can see what she actually says if you do well. Are you ready? Here we... paper! Look I'll go ahead and mention in editing that I finally caught on to one crucial thing that allowed Nothing. me to pull off a perfect victory. The pattern, Here while it initially starts out clockwise, switches to be counterclockwise when you win a round. Way. And then when you win the second round, it switches back to You're clockwise. This time. So that's probably the biggest thing that was throwing Here me off, we. and I... I'm kind of surprised I didn't notice something was up sooner, considering it's doing something like that. Anyway, this match went off without a hitch. You're good! You're pitiful! You gotta practice a lot! You're not bad! Yay! You're marvelous! And if I did, I would have done it there. Uh, yeah, I, you know, if I, I, like, I just played rock, paper, scissors again, I guess. Most likely. Unless I didn't. But anyway, <laughs> with that done, um... Let's actually go on a date with Marion here. Proper date. The place where we want to take Marion is a bit of a walk from here. And it is lagging, probably because I accidentally got Marion stuck down there. <laughs> oh well. Uh, gotta go all the way up here, and you gotta keep going up. And to the... No, wait. Up here. Over this way, and up here. Basically, you have to go all the way to the control room for Mount Hand, where we fought Wire for the second time. Thankfully, this place is no longer active as a dungeon. Like, you know, the traps, obviously, as you'll remember, the traps have been turned off ever since we first dealt with Bandiger. And there's also no enemies anymore ever since we dealt with Wire, so it's just a straight, easy walk through the area. You don't have to worry about dealing with anything on your way here. It is a longer walk than most dates, though. I think the trigger spot was over by this panel here? Yeah, around here. Alright. So, this is where you gotta date Marion if you wanna get her questions. Hmm... That's not the best start. What's up? Are you okay? I was just trying to act sophisticated, that's all. <laughs> That's like when the worm girl said she was trying to act Can cool. Can you deal with living in poverty? A lot of them do have the same questions, just not always... They don't always like the same responses. I think I can if you're with me. Yeah? Would you like me to brush your hair? Uh... Let me rest my head on your lap. You've never had your hair brushed! No. Oh, come on, mice! She doesn't believe me. 
You think I'm naive. It's kind of funny when I get a get that question after an incident like that. Of course not. Why do you ask that? <laughs> I, I don't know. I got confused myself. <laughs> okay. Do you think there's a soulmate for everyone? I think so. Yeah, and I'm with her right now. Mice, can I really trust you? Wow, she's so starry-eyed. My ears are burning. Who's gossiping about me? Probably someone on Mount Hand. You must be very popular. You're embarrassing me, Mice! Do you like hanging around with me? You're certainly interesting to be around. Of course I do. Yeah, I'm glad. We always have fun together. Thanks, Mice. Is there an antidote for love sickness? There's no need. It's an important part of falling in love. I didn't know you were that romantic. That was so fun. Thank you very much. Can we talk more? Ask me anything! Sure. So, she actually has less questions, too. Uh, only one less, though. I think that's the same amount that uh, Weena had, I think. If I'm remembering right. Anyway, uh... Yeah... No, you know what? Let's go with this first. Is there any concern that you have? I'm planning to modify Mount Hand so it transforms into a robot. But the citizens are opposed to it. I can kind of see why. Everybody got mad when I told them I wanted to work on Mount Hand. They just don't understand how cool it's gonna be. That does sound awesome, though. See ya! <laughs> see ya, Marion. Kind of a long trek back and forth, so... You know what? I saw you in my dream. You can bet I'll be cutting that out. A back and forth walk every time. Really? Hmm, what kind of dream was it? I can't explain, Mice. It's too embarrassing. Hmm, interesting. I'm sleepy tired. Sleepy tired? <laughs> I'm not sure what a, which of those options is worse. I'll go with I'm sure you are. I'm tired from just watching you. Oh, you two? We are so alike! I don't know why that, like, the more I looked at that option, like, for some reason it processed as a bad response at first in my brain, but then I'm like, wait, that's, that's not really that bad of a response. Especially not compared to the other one. What do you think about having a long-distance relationship? What do I think about that? My love isn't affected by distance. Wow, Mice, you're a passionate guy. Do you like frogs? I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> I'm not gonna say they taste like chicken. I think the tiny green ones are cute. Me too. I collect anything to do with frogs. Can you help me out? I kind of noticed that. You've got a frog hat on. Sure, no problem. Mm, I wonder what you're gonna get me. Do you like toys? Some toys. I played with them a lot when I was young. Hmm, then you don't like them anymore. I don't think I'm that attractive. Don't worry, I'm crazy about you. Hey, stop! You're so bad! <laughs> Do you think you're a masochist, mice? That question again. You knew about it? Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> you like Sodina the most, don't you? I'm telling you, man, it's like this game makes it the canon parent pairing. Uh, no, I only think about you. Can I believe you, mice? Probably not. Not at all. You want to ask me something? I do, but... Mm, I was thinking more of the other questions, but... Uh, what's your favorite food? Burgers 
and pizza! Alright. That was so fun! Thank you very much. Can we talk more? Ask me anything! These are the questions I wanted to ask you. What do you want the most? A steady relationship. I'm gonna make my guy help me with my invention. That's what a boyfriend's for! <laughs> wow. See ya! <laughs> if Mice does want to, you know, stick around with her, he's gonna have to learn more about mechanics, robotics, and so on. What kind of person is your dad, Mice? I respect him in many ways. He sounds like a great dad. Sure. You know what? Soshi asked me out! Man, Soshi gets around too. What? You should be careful. Are you worried about me, Mice? I feel like I'm cheating on you. If you could take only one thing to a deserted island, what would it be? Uh... I'd take my love for you. Why only love? Why not take me? Mice, how do you know how to treat a girl so well? I only treat you this way. How can you say that with a straight face? Hey Mice, do you like writing letters? I'll send a lot to the girl I like. Then you'll send me a lot, right? I don't know how many I'll respond to, though. Busy making robots and stuff. I feel dizzy! Wow! Oh no. Are you okay? Here, hold on to me. You're wonderful, Mice. She's so starry-eyed. What happened to us, Mice? I bet that we'll be happy. Oh, come on, mice! When I'm inventing, I tend to eat fast food. Yeah, you did mention you liked burgers and pizza. It's not healthy, but it's tasty. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. But I just can't help it. How do you like Mount Han? Mount Han's pretty cool. It's a very lively town, just like you. Does that mean I'm noisy? Huh, I'm a quiet person! Sure you are. Can there be friendship between a guy and a girl? I think it eventually turns into love like with us. Are you positive? I'm gonna take that seriously. I think there can be, actually. That was so fun! Thank you very much! Can we talk more? Ask me anything! Alright, this time I will ask you... When was your first love? My first love? Okay, okay. My neighbor's red sports car. <laughs> oh, it had such a sexy body. Uh, that figures. See ya! That, that made too much sense. about having a long-distance relationship. Maybe Mice would have even better luck with Marion if he turned himself into a cyborg or something. Wow. Can you fart in front of me? That question, eh? Uh, I can't do such a thing in front of you. And you expect me to believe that? <laughs> Can you eat raw garlic? I've never tried that. I haven't tried that yet. That's really it, mice. What do you think about your looks? I think I'm average looking. Really? I wouldn't expect to hear that from you. I feel dizzy! Oh no! Um... What should I do? I can't depend on you! Would you like some of the cake I made? Ooh, cake! 
There aren't any nuts or bolts inside, right? Cake? I'd love to taste. Really? Don't blame me if you get sick. <laughs> Do you believe that people are destined to meet? Absolutely. I think we were meant to be together. You think it's fate? Do you believe in God? I always communicate with him. Oh, jeez! Mice! Hey, Mice, what's your personality type? Uh... To tell you the truth, I don't know. <sighs> really? I believe there are different forms of love. Oh, really? This one's different. Like, that's the response we've seen before we've seen that choice, but this time he says, I love you very much, which is, you have that option, which is different. I'll go with that. I love you very much. Do you expect a girl to bite on a line like that? <laughs> Apparently I should have just gone with the usual. That was so fun. Can we talk more? But she's still letting me ask her a question. Tell me about your childhood. I made a lot of things. Mount Han had tons of interesting things to explore. My robots were my best friends. See ya! <laughs> See ya, Marion. Really, if you think about it... Would you like some of the cake I made? There's a bit of sadness to that last, you know, question-response. But she seems to keep herself happy regardless, so that's kind of the important thing. Cake? I'd love to taste. Really? Do you think I'm naive? Of course not. Why do you ask that? <laughs> I don't know. Can you eat bell peppers? Uh, not really. I don't like them either. I don't think I'm that attractive. Oh, you're very attractive, so... No, not yet. You gotta be patient, mice. You know what? So she asked me out. <laughs> and again, again, huh? You should be careful. Are you worried about me, mice? Hey, mice, do you like writing letters? I'll send a lot to the girl I like. Then you'll send me a lot, right? <laughs> You're like so hyperactive! You're my source of energy. I'm not as easy as you think. I think trust is an important aspect of relationships. Oh, very. Very much. I'll never betray you. Mice, you're too cool! You think I'm cute, huh? Kind of are. Yes, you are indeed. Yeah? I am very interested in the way people learn about each other. Aren't you? I want to learn more about you. Yeah? You really think so? That was so fun! Thank you very much! Can we talk more? Ask me anything! Sure thing! Just one more question. What is your dream? I bet you know this already, but my dream is to make the world better with my inventions. Eventually, I want to engineer people so they don't need food or sleep. I think I was on the money when I said, you know, mice maybe would have better luck with her even if, he, like, if he could turn into a cyborg or something. See ya! Later, Marion. I'll get into what kind of skills we can learn from her later, I think. Because I need to conserve MP, as I've mentioned. 
means in the meantime though, well, actually, for one thing, I kinda need to reset, because I don't want to have her intimacy that high without having learned all the spells that go up to that level. <laughs> and then from there, I think I will just park us right outside of the land good. Let's keep it up! So we can resume from there in the next video. Because it's time to head back there so we can find out where we need to go from here to advance the plot. But to do that, first I have to get off of uh, Mount Hand. Specifically, I should do so at Wayno Point. I mean, I could always just warp to Wayno Point, but if I'm on Mount Hand, I might as well specifically get off where I need to be. That would be kind of convenient and save me the trouble. Where would I like to go? I would like to go to Wayno Point. Especially since we've already been to Bukuro Points, and there was not much there. It was just kind of a place that you can go, and buy things, and not much else. Well, here we are! Can you imagine how loud something like that would actually probably have to be? Like, a train that's got cars that are the size of a town and everything. Oh man, alright. Almost where we need to be. Just gotta get out here onto the map. We're gonna get, we're gonna get some different map music too soon. We're nearing the end of the game, by the way, if you were not aware of it. I'd say we've got... Oh, I didn't mean to actually enter Langood. Um, 